In this video, we're going to have a look at finding the square root of a complex number using algebra. So we'll do so by means of this question here, which says, use an algebraic method to find the square root of the complex number 15 plus 8i. So it's asking us to find the square root of 15 plus 8i. Well, we know the answer is also going to be a complex number, but we don't know what complex number yet, so let's call the answer a plus bi. So if we square both sides, the left-hand side becomes 15 plus 8i. Square root, square root means it just becomes 15 plus 8i. And the right-hand side, if we square it, we times it by itself, like that, to get a squared, that's that there, plus a bi, plus another a bi, plus b squared, i squared. So this implies that 15 plus 8i equals a squared plus 2abi, and then i squared becomes minus 1, so that becomes take b squared. So this implies that 15 plus 8i equals Let's do the real part first, a squared minus b squared, then the imaginary part, plus 2abi. So here, the real part, which is 15, has to match the real part here, which is a squared minus b squared. The imaginary part, which is 8, not 8i, but 8, the imaginary part is the number in front of i. For those two sides to be equal, 8 must equal 2ab. So let's write those down. We've got two simultaneous equations now. We've got 15 equals a squared minus b squared. Let's call that equation a. And we've got 8 equals 2ab, which is our second simultaneous equation. Now we can see from this that b implies that a equals 8 over 2b equals 4 over b. And if we sub that now into the other equation, into a, we get 15 equals 4 over b squared. Take b squared, which means that 15 equals 16 over b squared minus b squared. Keep on solving, so I'm going to times everything by b squared now to get rid of that denominator. So we get 15b squared equals 16. Take b to the 4. And hopefully now, by this point, you've noticed that's a stealth quadratic. So we've got b to the 4 plus 15b squared. Take 16 equals 0. So if we let u equal b squared, our substitution. This implies that u squared plus 15u takes 16 equals 0. Factorising, we get u plus 16u take 1 equals 0, which means that u equals minus 16 or u equals 1. So that means that u was b squared, so b squared equals minus 16, or b squared equals 1. This one here, we can discard. b squared equaling minus 16 will give a complex value for b, or an imaginary value for b, which isn't allowed. The coefficients of complex numbers have to be real. So that doesn't work. So as soon as we get an imaginary number as an answer or a complex number as a value for the coefficient, we can instantly discard it. Coefficients of complex numbers are real. So this one implies b equals plus or minus 1. So that's good. We've got b is plus or minus 1. So now let's find out what a equals. So we've got a formula for a here. a equals 4 over b. We discovered before a is 4 over b. So when 
b equals 1, a equals 4 over 1, which is 4. If b equals minus 1, a equals 4 over minus 1 equals minus 4. Therefore, the square roots of 15 plus 8i are... So when a is 1, when b is 1, a is 4. So it's 4 plus 1i or minus 4 minus i. And let's just test that on a calculator. Let's see if that works. So getting the calculator up and putting it in complex mode, which is that one there, mode 2. Let's do 4 plus, and i is just above this n button. 4 plus i squared is indeed 15 plus 8i. Let's try the negative. Negative 4 minus i squared is also 15 plus 8i. So there's our answer. And any good exam answer will draw the marker's attention to what the answer actually is. So there it is. That's how to find the square roots of a complex number. And almost every time you'll end up with stealth quadratics. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.